Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's Advanced Financial Modeling course, Building a Core Model. The goal of this course, the Advanced Financial Model Core Model, is to build a fully integrated five-year financial statement projection model in which we will project five years of income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, as well as the debt sweep to balance the model and the interest schedule to eventually integrate the entire model. By the end of this course, you will be able to build and have a completed financial model projecting run rate profitability in which you can then later on valuation or merger models and analyses on top of that. Please note, we will be extremely keyboard and shortcut oriented to speed up your number crunching so you can therefore spend more time qualitatively to then properly analyze and crunch and interpret your quantitative results from the model. Now, we are almost done. Please go to sell I-26 diluted earnings per share. Hit shift down arrow to I-29 EBITDA margin. At this point, hit your control R keystroke key. Once you hit control R, you now have the numbers filled in. What I would do now is to quickly zoom out of my spreadsheet so we can see the totality of these numbers. And you will quickly see here and understand what we will now do next. Please make sure you're on sell I-29, our EBITDA margin. On sell I-29, our EBITDA margin, you will hit control, shift up arrow several times until you get to sell I-9. Please make sure you have fully selected everything from sell I-9 to sell I-29. Of course, this is your new best friend, right? Control R. You will hit shift right arrow through column M. Shift right arrow through column M and hit control R. Did I not tell you control R was going to be your new best friend, huh? Now, look at how easy this was, how easily you created your entire five-year income statement. Now, if control R really is your new best friend, well, I think that's a little bit pathetic, so you got to maybe get yourself checked out a little bit. But in any case, on cell M26, please make sure that your diluted earnings per share in 2010 of four dollars and twenty-four cents matches your uh, matches the numbers that I am showing, as well as your EBITDA, as well as your EBITDA margin. At this point, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, let's go ahead and figure out our numbers on the balance sheet. So again, take a quick break, and when we come back, let's go to the balance sheet. See you in a bit.